Hey, this is Johnny Warrior, Senior Instructor with Thunderbird Outdoor Adventures. Today we're going to bring you the Figure 8 Knot, which is the Knot of the Week. Now, this is one of four founding or fundamental maritime knots, right? The first was the Reef Bend, the next is the Boland, this one, and then the Half Hitch. Now, we're gonna did what this was originally used for was a cleat knot that was put in the middle of the line to keep the mast lines from slipping up uh, or the sail lines from slipping up through the mass. So it's better than the overhand knot, which is like this, right? Which is much smaller and has a tendency to roll and move along the line, okay. This one, the figure eight knot cinches down on the, the line or the rope and stays and it doesn't roll. Now, in today, what this is is a founding knot, right, for climbing. Now, it can be used just like it is now, a stay knot or cinch knot to where it won't run out on a... Uh, on a, uh, uh, a uh, eyelet or anything like that. It's an inline stay. But what you can use it for also, here, let me show you, is let's say we need a eye or a tie off in the line, making the eye, right? Uh, well, tying the dot in the first place, okay. We're gonna do, do left, right, right over left, around the tree and in the hole right see that that's a figure eight let's see that one more time left right right over left right around the tree and in the hole making our figure eight now if we need to make an eyelet we're doing the same thing Right, let's get this going straight. So we're gonna go right, right over left, around the tree, and in the hole. All right. Now what that makes for is a figure eight cinch to where we can put a load on one end and that tag won't slip up through there. And that's a good cinch safety knot that we can use as an anchor point all right so that's good for climbing camping anything where you need to put a load on that you don't want the tag right to slip through the eyelet and it will stay now the, the uh, benefit is obviously it doesn't roll but the the cinching of a heavy weight on this does make it difficult to untie but it's well worth it. Now, it is also the foundation of something called a um, figure eight bend, right? So if you have two like diameter pieces of line, right, or rope, that you need to tie end to end, okay? You put the figure eight, you put a figure eight in one, um, uh, one end, okay, just like that. So we got the figure eight, all right, and then you take the other end and you back trace, just like this. You're b literally back tracing the same pattern, right? Just like that. Boy, that's ugly. But it will come out nice and pretty in the end. And there you go. See? 
And then you can put an overhand knot here and an overhand knot there. And that's a figure eight bend to tie two pieces together to extend the line. So, you know, there's multi uses for this. Also, if you're fishing um, on a snare, instead of using a snare knot, you can use a double eight or a single eight to, to put, tie a hook onto fishing line. That's a popular way of doing, using knot nowadays. You know, you simply put the line, you know, through the eyelet of your, your, your hook, bring it around, right? Um, bring it in around the tree and in the hole, right? Cinch it in the eyelet like that and that will give you a quick, right? Or put the put the the eyelet in the hook is dangling right here. You have a lot of uh, material leading off, and then you just simply do the right over left to bring the hook and the line to this point right here, right, and then you have your hook on your fishing line. So instead of doing a snail, uh, snail knot or you know a fisherman's knot or something like that, or that much better than you know two double overhand knots or whatever that's not gonna slip on that that polycarbonate line, and uh, that'll keep your hook in place. So that is the figure eight and some of the foundations of what we use the figure eight for. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave the comments down below. Subscribe and comments here. Subscribe. We'd appreciate it. If you have any uh, questions or suggestions for knots in the future or topics in the future, you can email me at thunderbirdoutdoors at gmail.com or PM me right here and I'll get back to you. Until next time, guys, remember, get outdoors, enjoy it, don't sit on your butt, get out there and uh, uh, enjoy what nature has to offer, learn your skills, take a kid with you, this is Johnny Warrior, until next time.